mi primera vez en a Medellín. Sí. sí. What do you think? What do you think? Oh. For now it's good. Like so far it's good. Él llegó ayer en la noche. Sí, so, like hoy es su primer día y dice que le está gustando mucho. Primera vez. La chica se mal. <risa> Aún no sé. No sabes. <risa> Pero que, lo, a lo que ha visto. Ajá. Uh -huh. Whatever you have seen already, what do you think? Um, mm. <risa> se, le dio pena. <risa> Very, sí me da dos super coco. Por... Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias, sí. Uh, lo puedo ver. Um, yeah, man, you can try it. We're gonna try one of these. It's a uh, candy, and then we're gonna help him out. Muchísimas gracias, oiga. Muchas gracias. Buen día. Bendiciones. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. So today we are here in uh, El Poblado. We're gonna walk to uh, 10th Street. We're, we're gonna head to uh, Manila. This is where my friend is staying, fit and travel. Um, so we're gonna show you guys how to get to from uh, 10th Street, El Poblado to Manila. So stay tuned. Uh, wider. Oh, so you gotta get. Get, uh, the seven one has the white screen. It's still, but uh, this one is nicer because it's newer, like the ten. Oh, okay. You have, yeah, yeah. Mine is good. Muchas gracias. I feel bad, but I can't be buying for from everybody, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like you yeah. have everybody, you're gonna be broke. Can do that. All right, guys, so we're here in uh, 10th Street, and like right here you have Parquilleras, right, to, to your uh, left-hand side. Um, we were there last night. <laughs> it was crazy, and it was Thursday night. Imagine today is going to be Friday. It's getting back there. And right now, uh, Parquilleras is still under construction. It's been over three years. Oh, you, if you see over there, that orange uh, tank, that's... Barricade, the Yeah, that's the Geras Park, and it's getting... Um, it's under construction right now. Renovated, get renovated. Yeah, it's gonna get renovated. I'm here with uh, Fit and Travel. How, how, how's your first spirit? Uh, uh, how do you say it? Your first uh, impression from hey, man. Medellin? Yeah, my first impression so far, man. Hey, I, it's so far, I feel like I'm in love with it, man. So far, I'm in love with it already. But you, you don't know from the next time. Um, I don't know right now. Like, I can't really... Uh, I can't really tell 100%, but so far, the way I'm feeling, I'm feeling great over here. You know? Yeah, basically... The, the hospitality... It's awesome. So far, awesome. Like 100%. He just Great. arrived last night. So today is his first day. Um, I'm going to show him around. Um, actually, the purpose of this video is that I'm going to show him how to get from uh, 10th Street, El Poblado, to Manila, where he's staying. He's been taking uh, Uber and taxi. And over there you have uh, Mondongos, a famous place, Mondongos. It's almost the time where people are getting off from work. It's 4.15. It's gonna start the uh, trancón.
All right, guys. So we we're still here in, on 10th Street, and we're approaching the uh, Poblado Park. This is uh, El Poblado Park right here. Like you know, this street take you to Santa Fe Mall. You have a uh, El Poblado Park right here. And then you say you're staying in 40, Carrera 43? 43. But this, this is not it, right? 43A? No, it says 43F. F. Okay, so we're gonna, I think we're gonna keep going. This is 43A. So A. 43F either is that? Okay, okay, so we gotta keep going. Yeah. So A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay. I'm thinking maybe, maybe here is different because here sometimes you see, you know, I don't know if they put it like that. But in the States, that's how it is. Like it's A, B, C, D, E, Yeah, bro. Let's go. So this is El Poblado Park. El Poblado Park. Yeah. Okay. Provenza is in El Poblado. And then we're here in uh, 43B. He say he's staying in 43F. Uh, what's that? What is that? B. Uh, 43B. Okay. So like I was telling you, this is 10th Street and uh, this, is, this is very safe because a lot of people walk here. Uh, but uh, if we go, uh, I'm gonna show you. Like that way, when we gonna make a tour that way, that's when it gets um, kind of, uh, uh, especially at night, it, it gets dark. dark not, yeah. not many people walking, like uh, uh, like in this street, then street. Yeah. But uh, this is safe, man. If you wanna walk. So this street is better to walk. Yeah, this is the but street. You cannot that. go that way. Like you can, but it's it's, it's it gets right not many people walking. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Check this out. They, yeah, they have the uh, food, the uh, fried chicken, empanadas, all those good stuff. You know what, I think I should get in empanada for now because when I get home, we won't come out. Now it's like getting hungry yeah. to eat because. Look at the time, so but by the time for us to come out, it'd be probably like freaking seven, eight o'clock, bro. Let's get an empanada. Let's let's get the empanada here. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, we're gonna get some empanada here from uh, El Machetico. Okay, we gotta try empanada. This is the empanada, and that's the price. Um, 2500 uh, pesos that's like 60 cents for empanada I'm gonna try them it's gonna be his first time trying empanada so yeah my first see. time trying empanada let's see his reaction um, do they have different different yeah meat, they have right? like carne oh. carne um, Good. I think baseball like Carne de mechada, rachera, arroz con carne, arroz con ca papa y carne. Good. Which one you like? The no. tra traditional one? Yeah, but I don't like cheese that much. You don't like cheese? Okay. I do eat cheese, but if it's a lot, it's my mess of my stomach. Buenas, ¿cómo está? Mire, él quiere tras probar, nunca ha probado empanadas. Entonces quiere probar como lo más tradicional. ¿Cuál es la que nos recomienda? La papa carne. Papa carne. Eh, so, potato and uh, beef. Yeah. That's the, the uh, traditional one. Yeah. Si no puede dar dos de esas, por favor. Yeah. Let's so, try the traditional one. We're going to get two, two empanadas para comer acá. And maybe, I don't know if I'm going to get something to eat, to drink. Let me see. Yeah, we're gonna get something. Just, sí, por favor, de, sin picar. Yeah. Sin picar, 
de aguacate, ¿verdad? Sí, por favor. Guacamole. So this is the empanada. And this is the uh, guacamole sauce. Yes, sir. We're going to try that. I'm going to see his reaction. Yeah, First time um, trying the uh, traditional empanada. Let's give it a try, guys. Let's give it a try. Fit Travel here in Colombia. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Subscribe to Fit and Travel. Yeah. Good content. Vamos. Vamos a Ovalo. Ovalo. El tradicional. Arepa tradicional. Ah, empanada. Empanada tradicional. Uh, as a potato and a beef. Not yet, not yet, guys. How do you like it? Um, have you tried any similar stuff? Or, or yeah, I have tried similar. To, not really. Honestly, no, this is your first time? Yeah, this type of stuff. Yeah. I try other stuff, but it's not like this. It's different. It's like a different texture and then the meat is different. I know, yeah, Mike. Do you like to stay fit? Like, mm -hmm. you probably eat healthy. This is uh, fried, right? Mm -hmm. no, yeah. It's not something that you're going to be eating every day? Not every day, but it's good to have that sometimes. You know what I mean? Like, you're doing it fat sometimes, right? People think that you gotta do it. You die, you don't eat nothing. No. You have to have some fat. Yeah. It's, it's important. Yeah. So, but, um, so let's say uh, from to, one to ten, to the, from one to ten, let, what number you um, give it? From one to ten, I give it. Since it's a little bit cold, it's not fresh. Not too hot. It's not too fresh, but it's still good. Yeah. I give it like eight. Hey, all right. That's that's good. That's good. Your first empanada. Still good. We're gonna be trying some other ones. So yeah. If it was fresh, imagine if it was fresh. Yeah. All right, man. I'm having an empanada here in the ten street in Empanada. I know this place. There is another one in Provence, and they have a lot all over Medellin. It's very famous. The empanadas are great. My boy, he just tried them. He says it's pretty good. And. Uh, we had two empanadas, two waters, 9,000 pesos, which is not even good order. So it costs uh, two, less than $2. Less than $2 for the empanadas and the water. Wow, that's, that's crazy. I'm gonna pay her. I thought it was more. You guys need to come here, have some empanada on, on the ten, on 10th street, okay? Some empanada. Gracias. All right, guys. So we're still working here at 10th street. I think, look, because this is already like Carrera 43 one. Probably we can tour in some of And what the letter? I think it's safe. Let's keep going. So we, got, we got like three more before we get there. Bueno, ¿cómo está? ¿Qué, qué tiene de venta? Tengo chicles, gomitas, compite, bombón. Y tiene algo tradicional de aquí, de que, que sea. Aquí. Ajá. Como el super, ese super coco, sí. este, ¿Qué, este. ¿qué cuestan? 200. 200. Yeah, we can get some of those. Yeah, get a couple of those. All right, we're gonna help out this guy. Um, see him. He's in a wheelchair. It's working here. Also, I'm gonna get a. Si me da dos super coco. Muchas gracias. 
Muchas gracias, sí. Uh, lo puedo ver. Um, yeah, man, you can try it. We're gonna try one of these, it's a uh, candy. And then we're gonna help him out. Muchísimas gracias, oiga. Muchas gracias. Buen día. Bendiciones. It's a good candy. Check this out. This is another place for empanadas. Hey, what's that, man? It seems like these empanadas are good because there's a lot of people having empanadas here. Hola. Hola, porque está grabando. ¿Están buenas las empanadas? ¿Las recomiendan? Ok. El lugar se llama El Rey. ¿Este parte? ¿Qué? Todos. Sí, 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 todos. Está bien. Desde mi primera vez en América. What do you think? Oh, for now it's good. Like so far it's good. Tell him so far, cause I just got here. El llegó ayer en la noche. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Hoy es su primer día y dice que le está gustando mucho. Primera vez. La chica se sale. Aún no sé. No sabes. Pero que lo a lo que ha visto. Ajá. Whatever you have seen already, what do you think? Um. <laughs> Se, le dio pena. <laughs> Very beautiful. Beautiful. Hermosa. <laughs> Mucho gusto. Que estén bien. Chao. Check this out guys, so I see this guy is uh, struggling here, so we're gonna get something from him. Hola, buenas. ¿Cómo, cómo está? ¿Qué vende? Cigarro, galletica, encendedores, chicles. ¿Qué cuestan los chicles estos? 300. Me da dos. So I see this guy. He he only have one leg. So Gotta help him out. trying to make a living, right? It's gonna be my turn next time because I, I don't have change. Like that. So next time we're gonna, gonna help him out. Like I said, I'm gonna do some 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 good deeds. So on a on a special video, we're gonna get two of this and um, say it's three hundred. We're gonna give him the rest is for you. Para usted, muchas gracias. Que tenga un buen día. Gracias. I think right here, this, I think this this is Manila. I think so. Mm -hmm. And El Poblado Station, the train is down, down over there, okay. like not too far, like probably another three, four blocks, mm -hmm. and then you get to El Poblado Station, okay. the metro. I'm learning, man. Yeah, bro, because I mean, when like... When this video, I'm gonna... I gotta, I gotta take notes, too, because when it comes to direction, I'm not too good. But I kind of I get it now.
Like, because the way you explain to me is so simple. Yeah, from, from so straight. Straight. Yeah. straight. And you tell me the names, so now I know on that street, that's where I found everything. Yeah. I have this uh, Smart Fit. Um, so I have a Smart Fit right there, by this, You have? But you say Smart Fit is right here. Yeah. So I live right there, so. Yeah, you can come, you right can come here. here. Oh, this is the smart fit from El Poblado. I really like this area. Hmm? I really like this area. Yeah. I think this one is gonna be the street that you're staying in. Huh? Yeah. I think this is gonna be it, man. Um, this one. So, alright, so like I was saying, we're gonna go to Manila. That's where he's staying. I'm showing him how to get from. Uh, 10th Street, Provenza to Manila. Uh, walking. A nice little thing, the vet. What? The vet. Vets? The vet fence. Right here, come in. Let's go. <laughs> nice little vet fence right there on the left. Oh. I see ya. Like I was telling you, here in Manila, uh, you will see a lot of foreigners, man. Yep. Pretty much all the foreigners st stay in, in this area because there are some hostels. And um, I don't know why, man, but uh, a lot of people look up for those places. So they get together and they go out together. Mm -hmm. I prefer to hang out with the locals. But um, yeah, man, it's a good option. Ah, uh, well... I mean, not really, I do it for but, help. But, I do it for help. But like, if you do that, man, people don't do shit like that, man. People I know. Get laid, they lay. They don't want to do nothing like that. Yeah. No, but you do that. I'm not like that. But you, you just don't work out. We just like do. Right, just you know, like the uh, car cardio, nice, cardio. Yeah. Okay. So we got in here where my boy is staying. It's like this is A Street, um, 10th Street A. So, and this is uh, 43F. F, yeah, yeah. So we just did the uh, walk to from uh, Poblado 10th Street to uh, Manila. 